you know, you are a single brother, you're not married, you're not having sex per se, but you are addicted to porn and masturbation. Yeah. Yeah. And and how the porn and masturbation then creates a sense, a false sense of what marriage and sex looks like. Exactly. And how that can affect you when you get into him shadow. Hmm. Sin thrives in secrecy. Yep. If you want it to flare up, one thousand, bro. Just keep it, keep it a secret. Yeah. And it will eat you up. Yeah. I normally say to people, I, as a healthcare professional, I used to be really worried about what people eat. Mm. I still am mm. worried about what people eat. Mm. But I think over and above things, lately I've become more worried about what eats people up. Mm. You know, what, what is it that is eating you up? Mm. Hey, what's up? Welcome to Dad Husband Podcast with me, Black Newborn. Here, we are husbands who aren't where we want to be, but certainly are not where we used to be. We are imperfect, always failing forward, trying to know better so that we can do better. Initially, when I wanted you to pull through, um, I wanted us to speak about the state of husbandhood in the country, um, you know, just to kind of pick your brain, where your thoughts are. I mean, you've, you've kind of laid the foundation now with how the conversation has gone mm. so far, the kind of husbands, you know, that inspire us to make this podcast, kind of continue making this, this content. Um, just hearing your dad's story as well, I'm just like, we can end this thing now, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but your observation, man, uh, my, from where I'm sitting, and the reason why we do this, um, I think more and more we're finding that that younger guys don't want to get married um, for various fears, various reasons. Um, and it seems as though the, the picture of marriage, um, you know, has has been tainted in many ways. Yes. And so I find it that it's our responsibility as husbands who are married to paint a different picture, to correct you know, some of these wrong and, and misconceptions around what marriage is um, so that we can inspire young guys, either who are fearful to get married because they're just like, yes, this thing is, is big and it's scary and I don't want to do it. Might have, uh, have hurt because my dad left my mom, so I don't want to kind of repeat the same thing, um, you know, or just don't find the value because I can have sex outside of marriage. In fact, I have a child, mm. so I am a father, so why should I waste my time paying all this money, paying Ilobola, you know, paying for the wedding? We live together. So why, why should I have the title husband, you know? Um, so very varied reasons why I think marriage is being devalued, but particularly the role of the husband, you know. So earlier on we had said, and I know I'm saying a lot now, a lot of women are speaking about marriage and relationships. Mm. Why the role of the husband is devalued, you know, the the way it is. Why a lot of guys just don't find value in in being a husband. Any any thoughts on that? Any observations, conversations you've had? Yeah, I I I have had conversations with myself um, yeah. about about this. I've had a conversation with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Um. Have a con- I had a conversation with Namachita. Sure. Um. So. <sighs> And I think a larger part of it is um, societal construct. You uh. you look at you look at how again how boys and girls are raised. They are raised differently. Uh, uh, uh. Um, the societal construct, as, as as far as raising a girl is concerned, is is more centered around home growing and home grooming and for women mm. like a baby mm. girl mm. Uh, is mm. i've got a, i've got a daughter who who plays tea with me and mm. she feeds me air and she's mm. like daddy you like it daddy do you <laughs> yeah. want do you want chips yeah. and yeah. she feeds me <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> two years of age right sure, sure. um and and but but already she's just out here i need to take care of this man yeah <laughs> <laughs> this man is going to starve to death. <laughs> yeah. You need to feed him more air. Give yeah. him air. Yeah. Uh, this day she's got a new thing. Whenever sure. I walk into the house, she's like, Daddy, did you miss me? I'm yeah. like, what? That's a deep question to ask. Yeah. <laughs> You're two years of age. Why didn't you ask me about Coca-Melon or yeah, something? Yeah, sure. <laughs> 
But they, <laughs> they, they raised for some reason, and I think yeah. it's just a genetic p- uh, disposition as sure, well. Sure. Um, I, honestly, I really mm. think because a, there's no way a two-year-old can have such you know sentiments yeah. and how you know yeah. it's how they're raised. Um, women are just really raised to take care of. Mm. The other day on, on voting day, my wife and I were standing in the queue. We saw this cute baby girl mm, who mm, had a, mm. a, a doll yeah. that she was playing yeah. with. And, and how, I p- probably she was around three years of age, sure. baby girl, but how she would like lay a blanket on the floor and then put the doll there yeah. and then eat the thingy and then make sure and then pat the doll yeah, on the back. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, you three. Yeah. to have a baby sure. you know yeah. already at the age yeah. of three there is that you know channeling to say yeah. you're going to raise a family you're going to have yeah. um, you know a child you're going to have a whatever sure. and there's no way you can have a child without the, a man being involved mm. or a relationship mm. so there's the, the upbringing for women and for baby girls is, is often been around family sure. you know family structure this that and the other mm. and boys on the other end are raised differently mm. Mm. um um, and often than not, in fact, most guys, bah, they, they wake up and come to their senses at the altar. They realize, <laughs> after saying I do, they're like, wait, what just happened? Yeah. At that time, okay, Aluako has been preparing for this for since years. she was two, my yeah. God. <laughs> she, 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 she prepared the, dra- the suit wow. you're wearing. She knew the color yeah, when she was three. Yeah, 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 you understand? Yeah. When you are like, okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> send me the location to the wedding, yeah. you know? <laughs> How much is it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's because how the society Jeez. has made it for us. Sure. You understand? Um, and, and I think another part <laughs> that plays the role is the absence of fathers. Yeah. Um, because um, there is no point of reference. Sure. How do I grow up and aspire to be a married man mm. when I was raised by a single woman mm. who was broken and hurt? And I got to see her, mm. you know, and see her strength and mm. her being stretched beyond measure. Mm. So I know how far a woman can go mm. without a man. Mm. Mm. So I, I know, you know, I saw, sure. I saw mama doing it. Sure. So, and if she could do it without a man, then there's no need for me to commit to another woman. Another woman yeah. She's well sufficient without a man. Oof. Um, and that's the first thing. And another thing is you have, if you grow up in a dysfunctional and I mean, studies have, stats have shown this as mm. well, and research has shown this, that um, pe- people who raise or grew up in a functional family structure are much more likely to commit to relationships, yep. stay in relationships, get married. Yep. And, you know, there's a sense of longevity to yep. that. Simply because there's a pattern that has been laid out. Yeah. Um, Sorry to cut you off, but that actually lost three generations. There's yes. a, there's yes. a thing I just read. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. you see how deep that runs. Yep. Um, but if you don't have any point of reference, the reason why I do probably h- most of the things I do mm. um, for to my family and the, the, the trying to be the man that I'm trying to be mm. is simply because I saw my father mm. being that in the house. Mm. I saw my dad coming home um, with something. He never came home empty-handed. Mm. I knew that before he knocks off from his workshop, he'd call Uma and ask if everything is okay. Mm. Um, check if they need anything from the shops. Mm. Mom will circulate the phone around and ask us. Daddy says, do you mm. want something? <laughs> hey, Daddy, please buy, buy me mm. pull lollipop, buy mm. me rice and whatever. Mm. He comes home. He never came home empty. And even if wow. it means he comes home with a five rand eight time, back then in the days yeah. when he used to scratch, <laughs> yeah, scratch it. it yeah. yeah, you know? <laughs> or lay a paper that you should buy it like this. Yes. Now, now, yes. now there's internet banking. Yeah, no, we yeah, didn't yeah, have yeah, it then. Yeah. Yeah. In the yeah. 80s. We had an actual <laughs> paper. <laughs> yeah. It he didn't was, magically It was appear. rough, you yeah. know? It was rough. You had to press like 13 numbers or something like that. Not to foggy case. Yeah, ubela, <laughs> ubela. It 15 run a time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, so, I saw, I saw that man doing sure. it in front of my eyes. Most of the things I learned from him were not yeah. from... We're not particularly from a conversation, but we're from me observing. Yeah. Um, so... You ask me about the state of husbands mm. in this day and age, mm. that's where we are. Mm. Um, because I don't think it's even a like a, a, a thing of, it's a new thing across um, cultures and across races. Yeah. Check other races. Sure. Check how they do. <laughs> sure. These guys get married at 21. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. just like you just twenty one, George. Mm. Like yeah, I just yeah, love yeah, her, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just like stole my heart. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. They think about getting married 
You know why? Yeah. Because they've had. They've seen it. They've seen it yeah. going on. Yeah. You know, uh, we might debate about the longevity of those marriages sure. and stuff like that, sure. but there is that yearning and the willingness to actually mm. commit it mm. because they still see the value in mm. a a functional and structured family, mm. value in marriage. Mm. So, it's not a 21st century thing that cuts across all sure. races and stuff like that. Sure. I particularly think it's a black thing, mm. right? Mm. And we can talk in the context of South Africa, which we with disadvantage, um, mm. marginalized, and mm. all of that, mm. and how the the the, the structures were, family structures were. Abu Baba, they had to leave the houses and yeah. go work somewhere in the mines, and mm. the you know back in the days. Mm. So mm. again, there was never a father voice, a father fatherly present, and stuff like mm. that. So I'm worried, right? Mm. And again, what also concerns me. My my brother is um, maybe some how some of us married men live mm. in, in Chadwe. How we live out this marriage life, mm. you know, because people think marriage is like like a prison. Mm. Yeah. You're thinking ah, how much is that like uh, yeah. <laughs> leaving all of these? Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. And stick to one thing. Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. You know, yeah. I mean, you know, and uh, the, the, so there's that fear yeah. of um, then I, I lose a sense of freedom. I lose yeah. a sense of uh, variety. Mm. Uh, mm. Um, but mm. but we, we 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 have a responsibility then, you know, as married men to change the narrative. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not an easy one because. No. <laughs> because it's easier for people to look at you and say you are pretending, sure, than to believe that you are <laughs> really happy. Exactly happy yeah. I've had I've had people saying you know he's pretending. I yeah. I've just like okay guys I don't know how to show you. Yeah, you crying to buffet. You crying, you right to buffet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but so that's the the state of uh, things around. Um, and you are right in so saying that yeah. some men feel like, but why would I get married if I can just have sex yeah. outside marriage? Yeah. Um, but the Bible puts it nicely and says, he who finds a wife finds a good thing mm. and obtains favor from the mm. Lord. Um, which means that in, in scripturally speaking, mm. there is a certain level of favor huh. that you can only access and mm. obtain once you get married. Sure. Right. <laughs> sure. So if you're thinking you're doing it and making it as umchid, mm. single, mm. watch until you get married. Come on, bro. You know, yeah. you would be exponentially yeah. going to, especially if you get married to a good woman, a good yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, there's a certain level of a favor that comes with that. Yeah. I, I have seen guys, you know, it's like, no, I'm not going to get married. This, this marriage thing is just like, you know, yeah. <laughs> and they just all <laughs> academic about it. Yeah. And they just want to reason, you know, yeah. Um, but, but you, you, you look at them and you, you're saying, listen, my guy, hey, if you can just get a good woman mm. and, um, you, you'd probably be far further than where yeah, you are you at are. this point in time. Yeah. And there's a reason why, I mean, you, you know, as a married mm. man, mm. your, your insurance premiums are quite lower. Yeah. Simply because <laughs> you're married. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> exactly. You know, because insurance is looking at it. So yeah. I'm, a, I'm a public health specialist, right? Yeah. Yeah. So one of the things we do in public health is we look at actually the, the ins and outs of sure. what, what are the things around you that affects your health and stuff. Mm. So one of the things and, and health outcomes that is. Um, so um, the reason why I actually love families and relationships is because mm. I understand when I was doing my, 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 my dissertation on mm. my, my master's in public health, I was looking into how families and family structures yeah. are actually um, affecting health outcomes, sure. right? So there's a reason why insurances yeah. would say, okay, so if you're married, chances are you're eating at home. Yeah. So I'll uh, uh, drive him soon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because the minute you drive out of the house to go look for a quarter because you're important, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you might get into an accident or they might hijack your car. Yes. You understand? Yes. Uh, and if, if you're drinking, sure. chances are you're not going to go out and drink and whatever yeah. because your woman is in the house. Yeah. Uh, things of that sort, you know, you sure. come back home earlier. They, they look at that. Um, you know, some, some actually um, life covers look into that as well mm, to say mm, you mm. are probably heat, eating home cooked on an average mm. home cooked meals, mm. which are much more more healthier so uh -huh. your risk of your cardiovascular diseases your obesity uh, and you dying of heart attack at the age of 35 are quite lesser sure. because you've got a woman sure. in your life you are married yeah 
You understand? Stability. So there is a sense of stability yes. that comes with Uksha yeah, and being yeah, married. Yeah. So, um, but but it's a beautiful thing, man. Oh, we need to change the narrative. Yeah. So a lot has happened and a lot is worrying. Is, is worrying. But at the same time, I think, in mm. my view, I'm seeing God like raising a Majita, mm. the generation of fathers these days and husbands yeah. that are just like amazing. Man. Sure, sure. You know? Sure. I mean, yeah. I, I look at yeah. you black, I'm like, sure. yeah. Your yeah. wife saved us coffee. I'm like, yeah, man. <laughs> look at black. <laughs> you know, she's yeah. like, do you look? Do you want sugar? I'm like, yeah, no, yeah, thank yeah. you. No, it's it's sweet enough. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> that's dope, bro. Yeah, that's dope, man. Speaking speaking about health. Um, now we we you know gents would say um, I'm having sex. Yes. Don't need to get married. Yeah. Right. Um, and. Yeah, a guy who says that my first inclination is that you're probably not having sex with that one woman you're with. Yeah. Right? Um, you you speak a lot about sexual health. Yeah, I love uh, it, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I talk about it in the so, poop pit. I'm like, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. So, so let's say this. As, as an incentive to get married, uh, run us through why we should be very um, you know, considerate of our, of our sexual health. And why marriage is actually beneficial when it comes to 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 our sexual health? There's a, there's a number of reasons, yeah. and, and thank you. You see, now you've you've, you've pressed certain buttons in me. <laughs> sexual health, yeah. This is a real deal. Yeah. Um, so th- there's a number of reasons. Um, yeah. What's shocking about South Africa, um, if I just really want to talk about stats, is the fact yeah. that um, we've got the highest um, HIV program in the world. Yeah. ART program, that's antiretroviral mm. treatment program in the world. Sheesh. Um, we've got about, I think, um, last I checked, either I think 7.4 million people that no are HIV positive no in way. this country. No way. Crazy, right? Yeah. And what's what's shocking is this: you've got 7.4 million people that are HIV positive, mm. um, and only I think about 5.6 of them are actually on treatment. No so way! So we've got a bit, a, you know, two point something odd people walking around sure. that are HIV positive yeah. that are not on treatment. And what that means is, if they're not using a condom, they are yeah. chances are Spirited. infecting other people. Yeah. Um, so that's a huge number. That's massive, man. In this day and age. Yeah. Um, and what's said is, often than not, we look at HIV as something that is, you know, um, affects people who are in their 30s, they've mm. been playing around and stuff like that. There are kids in this day and age that were born with it. Before um, the programs of Uma, prevention from mother to child mm. transmission and mm. all of that, PT, mm. MCT, and all mm. of that. Mm. Uh, some sure. of them, even with these programs, there are still kids, sadly enough, that are born with HIV. Mm. So you see this child is born with HIV, they grow up and, you know, they mm. are 14, 18, 16, wherever they start dating, they yeah. don't use a condom, you mm. know, and the chances are they're going to be infecting other kids. Mm. Mm. So if the numbers don't scare you, I don't know what else will scare sure. you. So, and we've got this bad culture. Um, and I would know as a public health specialist because we've got this bad culture where Amajita would just... Diagnose someone from the eyes, like mm. facial, physical diagnosis. <laughs> you hear? I, I no longer <laughs> used to do. I, I used to do clinical consultation and see patients, yeah. but I no longer do that. Yeah. When I used to do it, you'd hear stories. Yeah. Mm. You understand? The biggest danger oh. ever. And then you know they. So oh. it's it's quite common for people to actually have a very risky sexual behavior. Yeah. Uh, and coupled with that is the issue of substance abuse, like your alcohol abuse mm. and stuff like that. Because it really messes up with the judgment. Mm. And in the groove, this mm. groove culture that we mm. have, mm. 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 where people actually really just become reckless. Mm. And people think that you get infected with HIV after you have slept with someone multiple times. Yeah. You can really just get an HIV infection from the word go. Mm. And on mm. average the average first round is less than two minutes. Mm, mm, so basically, mm. two minutes, less than two minutes of your life. That's it. You, are not even, you have not even sweat. I'll sweat on again, mm, so mm, you find yourself mm, HIV positive. Mm. You know? Uh, so think about that. Mm. Um, so, and that's where the, the question of 
really abstain comes in. Sure. Okay. But over and above just HIV, we've got other sexually transmitted infections as well. You know, your gonorrhea, your syphilis, and stuff like uh, that. Uh. But if we move away from science and talk spiritual things, um, uh. I, I have what I call STDs, not just sexually transmitted diseases, mm. but sexually transmitted demons. <laughs> we don't talk about, we often don't talk about the demons that are trans <laughs> transmitted sexually. Suddenly, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, so what are my piles? You, know? yeah. <laughs> you have inherited. So, from you, Cocos, my man, you look like Cocolo. Look, Cocolo, you miss China, you fell out. Because you know, you you slept with someone on a boy. But we don't talk about sexually oh. transmitted. Uh, demons. Yeah. Um, the fact that sex is very spiritual, mm, 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 and mm, 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 and mm. and how you actually sleep with these people. And the the, the sad thing about, and the stri which, the interesting thing I would say, mm. about that is that because sex is so spiritual, is that it, it doesn't matter whether you wear a condom or not. Yeah. You can wear a condom to prevent yeah. you from getting infected with HIV, mm. and probably falling pregnant. Mm. But the spiritual connection, mm. you know. Mm. Is something deeper. Mm. And that's why we've got things of our soul ties, mm. where you have slept with multiple girls, you are tied to all of these girls, uh. their history, their background, all of uh. their demons. Uh. Uh. You are inheriting all of that. Uh. So if a woman cheetah and you're not married, or uh. your lady you're not married, uh. and so you are exposed to such things, uh. right? Um, but over and above that, uh. we don't often don't talk about the emotional side of things as well. Before yeah, and, and this yeah, is me before yeah, I talk about the yeah. benefits then of getting married, sure, right? Sure. Because the emotional side of things as well is this multiple heartbreaks that messes up the person that you are. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people miss who they were before pain happened to them. Mm. Uh, a lot of people um, lost who they were um, because of pain. Oof. And I think it's pain that oh. could have been avoided. Yeah. You suddenly have trust issues. Not because they are they are in it or just mm, you know, mm, not mm, because mm. it's something you read about something because it's something you went through mm. you suddenly call men dogs mm. simply because you dated men and gave them your heart yeah. and probably slept with them yeah. and you're saying you love over them and over and over and, and, over. and again yeah. and then now they are gone now they are dogs yeah. right you call women whatever names that you want to mm. call them mm. simply because again you you were exposed to these multiple women mm. Uh, you call them gold diggers, but you don't have gold, my guy. Which gold you? Which gold are you talking about? <laughs> uh, he's a gold digger. Which gold? Go and subscribe. Go and subscribe. Askies. When you tell about it. Askies. Ah, Marana. Askies. Resubscribe, my yeah, friend. Okay, you're not cold. You are cold. You are cold. You are cold. Hey, come on now. <laughs> you don't have one, but you are one. <laughs> oh, uh, classic. But, but you call That's them classic, all these man. words, man. Yeah, Simply yeah. because yeah. You've, you've went through all of these multiple things. Sure. Right? Um, I often joke and say we should, we should as healthcare <laughs> professionals, we should have um, a heartbreak as a, as a, as a recognizable yeah. diagnosis. Because Umjolo mm. is showing, is showing on my intercessor. I'm a brother of mine. I'm a protocol. I'm a brother of So we should really call Umjolo, man. Uh. A, uh, we should really at some point we make it a, a yeah. diagnosis because people are really heartbroken. In sure. fact, when you study further, you do realize that there is mm. such a thing as. Um, a broken heart syndrome. Sure. Where one is so broken mm. that it even manifests physical and on a sure. bed. Sure. Now all the things that I've mentioned, mm. when you are married, um you are at least safe from them. Yeah. Um and if you're married and you're living a true marriage yes. life, yes. Let me just qualify yeah. that. Yeah. Um because you then get to you don't sleep around. Mm. Mm. You then have this well Ah. Right? Ah. That you drink from. Ah. So every day. It's not a broken system. <laughs> yeah, no. Yes. Hey, no. Ah, I yeah. would mm -hmm. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. It's there. Yeah. Uh, you drink from the well. Oh. You understand? Yeah. Um, so you are really protected from mm. your sexually transmitted infections. Mm. And again, I qualify it if you're living right in marriage. Yeah. 
Good um, quality marriage. Yeah. You know, good mm. quality marriage, man. Mm. And marriage is a beautiful thing. Mm. Can we just say it as married guys? Yeah. Marriage is a beautiful thing. I'm you know, you, they must not you, look at you us know what I say? I wish I was born married. Yeah, and Jehu Salon is ring, but... Yeah! Same about now, Munto. Yeah! That's the one. You cool and Jehu has a good time. You know, uh, so... <laughs> Marriage Sheesh, is a really man. beautiful thing. Yeah. So when you're married, you then get to be saved from these things. Mm. Um, you know, it, you, you then ha- find yourself in a platform where you can grow, mm. you know, and all of that. So those are the benefits of marriage. Mm. Um, I am safer in marriage. Mm. I'm much more happier in marriage. Mm. Um, I, I think of a time when I was single in my life. It was not nice, man. Let's come mm. to think of it. Then. Mm. Like I, I, I stayed, I stayed in the, I stayed in, in the Eastern Cape in Port Elizabeth when yeah. in my single days in my height of singleness. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was staying next to Uluanje, uh, yeah. in an yeah. apartment next to the sea. Sure. But I could feel the, the loneliness, yeah. You know, you wake up there, you look at the sea, you are like, no, swallow me. <laughs> <laughs> God, yeah. let me be a Jonah right now. Yeah. You know, it's it's not a it's not a nice feeling. Sure. The, the sense of emptiness. Sure. Um, because you look at the scriptures. Um, mm. God had to create Adam. You know, mm. um, or rather Eve from Adam. Mm. Right. I'm keep a corner. I'm creating mm. a partner, which means there is a space that a woman can only a woman can okay. feel oh, yeah. in your life. As sure. Let's let's really be honest yep. about it. You yep. know, that sense of fulfillment, sense mm. of contentment sense of joy and all of that that a woman really uh. brings into your space. Um, so to Amajita, ah, this thing of I'm gonna uh. it's tiring as well. I don't uh. know. And to be honest with you in this uh. podcast, I've done it when I was single. Uh. Right? Uh. Like I was uh. Uh. and and worse again, yeah. you know, I had my, my my moments where the devil wanted to swallow me. Come I, on. I hey. wanted to testify. Hey. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Roaring like a hungry <laughs> lion. <laughs> yeah. I'm just out there, yeah, you know. Um, I, I was just really yeah. there. And, and, and that sense of emptiness, which is yep. strange, because you feel yeah. empty after everything else. Mm. Um, so, mm. Mm. to our Majita, mm. there is so much joy in marriage. Come on, man. Um, and so much safety in mm. marriage. There is a, it's a safe house. Mm. It's, it's God's institution. Mm. God is the one that, you know, really created that mm. God is for marriage and because he is for marriage he guards it and Come he on. protects it yeah. right so ah they're sleeping around my guy yeah they're sleeping around so cut so cut so cut and by the time so shut down a penny I'll send a mind 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 yeah, but we and we also don't you know we talk about uh, how you know living a life that is quite promiscuous before marriage sure. and all of that and how that affects you. Uh. Um, and I think at some point uh. we need to actually have a conversation about and, and now we need to have a conversation to Christian brothers in the church mm. who are not married but who are just busy chowing. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. About yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and how that can really mess you up mm. Mm. Um, when you get M. Mm. And the same goes to the ladies as mm. well, mm. right? When you've been exposed to the AK 47s and the 9 millimeters hey, and the bazookas. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. And now you're getting married and how that plays a role mm. um, in your marriage. Yep. Um, sometimes maybe, I'm mean, imagine that they don't fall in these two categories. Mm they fall in the category of, you know, you are a single brother, you're not married, you're not having sex per se, but you are addicted to porn and masturbation. Yeah, yeah. And and how the porn and masturbation then creates a sense, a false sense of what marriage and sex looks like. Exactly. And how that can affect you when you get into him shut mm. We really need to have deep conversations yeah. here. We need yeah. more coffee. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. understand? Because you, You're like a person who's smoking cocaine. Yes. That's what's happening in your brain. Hi! Yeah. Th- th- that's how we like an e- pornography too. Yeah. You understand? You're, you're, yeah. you're as high as hell. Yeah. You get him to do high. You see, it's going to be a brother. Oh, hi! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every day, every hour. Yeah, yeah. Oui, oui. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we need to have a, mm. a conversation about that. Yeah. Um, because Omunye might think to himself, ah, I'm not sleeping around with the sisters. Mm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. And how does that, 
from a medical pers- perspective. Which is a question I wanted to ask because there's uh, like a lot of at least two varying views. One, mm. you know. Hey, sorry to interrupt your viewing. We will shortly get back to that episode because obviously there's a lot of dopeness in there, right? But before we go back there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're updated on all the episodes that we are dropping, right? Here's the thing. There's a lot of value. There's a lot of gems. There's a lot of dopeness that comes out of this. What do we want to do? We want to bless you with more dopeness, give you more gems, right? And with that, check out what's coming out next week. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's not like like you treat each other like Popeyes but there's a lev- there's a different expectation that you have now stop Black. right wait stop yeah. stop Arthur, Arthur, yeah, Arthur, Arthur, yeah. Arthur. sure why <laughs> no 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 no. this is a genuine question like yeah. I'm hearing you talk no, and I'm for like, real yeah Mm-mm. why do you change you have to why From a medical perspective. Which is a question I wanted to ask because there's Uh, like a lot of, at least two varying views. One, mm. you know, this is good for you. Yes. Do it. It has health benefits. Yes. And then there's there's one side that says, man, if you keep doing this, you know, so even... Even um, I think it it, it also uh, maybe veers into uh, uh, premature ejaculation. You're training yourself, you know. Uh, that you won't mm. you won't last past two minutes yes. like you were saying so 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 what which which is which that's 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 an interesting one yeah there's this two school of thoughts around it yeah right um so of course one school of thought is they believe that from a scientific point of view yeah. that um frequent ejaculation mm. reduces your chances of your prostate cancer sure um I mean, the science to it, yeah. and this, that, and the other. Mm. Um, but then that that does not mean um, that you need to then really masturbate for mm. you to <laughs> mm. to actually get to that point. Mm. Uh, you can actually get married and have sex, and yes. you, that can also reduce your <laughs> yeah. chances of, yeah. you know, and that's... God's that's, plan that's, of keeping you alive. And that's why, yes. <laughs> and that's why Paul says, if you are burning... <laughs> get married. <laughs> get married. Yeah. It's a simple Sure. You understand? Um, um, so, but then there is the which is then what I've spoken about is the 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 the, the, the health benefit side of mm, things. But mm, then again, mm. we're saying get married to mm, mm. But I really I subscribe to the school mm. of thought. Uguti. There's a number of things involved in it, and most of them actually negative mm. um, repercussions mm. of important masturbation. Sure. Over and above the fact that a lot of people have got this compulsive. Uh, gene where you know they easily become and porn is addictive in its nature it's like cocaine you're right you know it's likened to that so Mm. you become an addict Mm. because it releases this you know uh, reward Mm. hormones in the Mm. brain and this that and the other but what what it teaches you and this is my school of thoughts and sometimes i've had debates and fights with colleagues in the medical space because of that Mm. um you're right in saying um it (laughs) over and above so really gives you a false sense of what sex is yep. because totally. the truth of the matter is that is that is actually acting yeah. i mean we have yeah. established that yeah yeah you know that's number one yeah. secondly yeah. um um psychology says men are phallocentric mm. and um phallus is a penis mm. so phallocentrism mm. simply means that their entire life is centered around right. their four five <laughs> you can yeah. say to a man yeah. why do you choose between me cutting off your legs yeah. and your penis yeah. would say cut off the legs yeah. <laughs> save the penis yeah. i will walk with the wheelchair yeah. you know <laughs> and man would rather die with an erection sure a strong erection sure. die happy <laughs> i have seen and i you know <laughs> we, we, we thought the nine to five was important <laughs> but it's actually the four five yeah no oh my god uh, that's a good one that's a good one <laughs> It's the four five that's important. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Four five that's very much important. <laughs> I have seen guys when I was still in practice. I've seen guys coming in. I normally oh, say the story and people laugh. And it's, I've seen guys coming in with yeah. strong, bad asthmatic attack. Sure. Bad asthmatic attack. Yeah, yeah. What we call in the medical sense, in medical terms, uh, st- uh, status asthmaticus, mm. where you are so asthmatic you can't even speak. Mm, and mm, you, mm, mm, and mm, and mm. that man would come in and this first complaint would not be his breathlessness. Yeah. Would be that four five yeah. My penis is not 
not is not working. <laughs> my guy, you dying. Yeah, I'm like my guy. Can we talk about the asthma? Yeah. When did it start? Yeah. I forget about the asthma. Yeah. Fix the four five. <laughs> And in a larger scheme of things, right? Yeah, like, yeah. if you fix the penis and not fix the asthma, yeah, yeah, the asthma sure. will kill him first yeah. and faster than the penis issue. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so th- that's that's the the, the idea of phallocentrism. Yeah. That your 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 whole life is centered around right. your penis. Yeah. Um, right. So men are quite mm. phallocentric. Sure. Very phallocentric. Mm, so what Paul mm, does, mm, mm, mm. Um, and because they're phallocentric, they worry a lot about size. Mm, That's why one of the ministries, mm, <laughs> God has yeah, anointed yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God has anointed me to speak about the penis size of a man. Yes, you know, yes, yes. And debunk some of the myths sure. that are around there. Yeah. Um, once did a video yeah. on TikTok about uh, what we mean by normal penis size. Mm. And again, that's another conversation because mm. most men mm. um, are exposed to porn quite early in their lives. Yes. And um, when they watch porn, they, mm. they see the bazookas of, mm? the, of the bazookas. Of an actor. Yeah, of an actor, mm. right? And and then and then already already agaka shat the girl brother you are yeah. not even married as a brother ne? Yeah. but now you already measure yourself now yeah. you see you get ah against this Goliath yeah. my five stones are not yeah. enough yeah. <laughs> yeah. I need a spear yeah. 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 I don't need five stones yeah. you know sure. because Umchita is gifted you understand Jeez. so what that does to your mind then it says it starts you Yo. it changes how you perceive yourself. Yeah. Uh, and how you feel about yourself. Mm. And that plays a very big role mm. in sexual activity. Mm. And, and you act, you know, because sex is the biggest sexual organ is the brain. Sure. Again, men need to get man. that. Power. It's the brain. So now, sure. one messes up, distorts that. Yeah. Then says to you the biggest object and yeah. it's, it's the penis yeah. in, in the sex play. Yeah. Um, so they watch porn it, it gives them a false impression of what sex is secondly it gives them really bad taste about themselves how they yeah. view themselves yeah. um, already by the time my brother gets to on the night of the of, of the wedding he's, mm. he's starting to explain himself mm. to the mm. sister mm. Oh, sister don't be surprised yeah. uh, dynamite comes yeah. in small don't packages <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, we are, we are men. We are yeah, idiot, yeah, yeah. right? Simply because the the point that you've been exposed sure. to has taught you that your size is small. Yeah. But um, and we need to have a conversation to say, but on an average, uh, uh, a, a, when we say a penis is is, is small, yeah. uh, I wish I had that box mm, I wanted to give mm, that illustration. Mm, mm, mm. When we say a penis is small, what we call micro penis in medicine mm. is when it is when it's erect, it's less than the the matches matchbox box, yeah. you know that yeah, yellow yeah, matchbox yeah, yeah. if it's less than that when it's erect yeah uh, then we can say because that thing is about five centimeter wow. long sure. right yeah, yeah. Uh, which means that sure. any penis that is above five centimeters you, when it's erect is actually normal. big enough it's normal yeah right <laughs> sure. and most men average around thirteen centimeters wow. Yeah. So already, right. but, but you are Ukraine. You Jeez. understand Ukraine. So we need to restore that to Amajita to say you've been so much exposed to pornography oh. that you're looking at the 27 centimeters and you're thinking, wow, I need to this be is, that big. Yeah. This is the standard, but it's not the standard. Sheesh, right? So let's teach you what the thing is. So that's what then Paul does. Uh, Gives uh, you a sense of, uh, by the uh, time, and uh, that's where uh, then when uh, they get to M. Shatwini, they don't have the confidence to actually uh, perform uh, sexually. Uh, uh, They've got issues of premature ejaculation. Uh, the third one, and then I, I'm done talking uh, about this. Uh, uh, the third one is, I believe, and most of some of my colleagues in the space believe that, yeah. that um, pornography teaches you to actually ejaculate faster. Yeah. Because the whole point of yep. you watching porn is so that you can fire up and then release. Yeah. Sure. I have never mm. had a conversation with Umjita or met Umjita mm. who says, no, the reason why I watch porn is so that I can last longer. Mm. I can see how long I can go. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> it has no. never been about, let yeah. me see how long I can, yeah. I can hold on. You yeah. understand? Yeah. It has always been, and think about this, most of studies have shown that our people around 13, 14, they start mm. to be introduced to pornography. That time you don't have a room, you don't have your own place, mm. you mm. understand? Mm. You watch mm. it, mm. And, and at that point, the faster you do it, mm the better yeah. for you. Yeah. Because you want to reach, yeah. yeah, you want to reach to the, yeah. before yeah. they caught you, yeah. before they yeah. catch you, yeah. Yeah. you yeah. want to be finished yeah. with the game. Exactly. But what you are doing, you, have, you are teaching your brain, Ooh. you are teaching your penis, you are teaching the Kegel muscles, Ogutu, once they feel the friction yeah. on your penis, release. they must release. Shucks. Now you get married, my guy. Shucks. 
right? You used to run, running this race alone. Yeah. And you used to get there faster. Yeah. Now you are married mm -hmm. and then you are fast, mm. too fast. Mm. Sister is mm. like, oh, mm. speed mm. of light. Mm. How? <laughs> Ahab. <Yeah>. <laughs> Elijah. <laughs> you know, why are you running so fast? Yeah. And, and much is the money and then they think they've got a problem. Mm. Um, but it's something that can be rectified. Let's have a conversation about your sexual behavior before you got married. Wow. Yes, you're not sleeping around our sister, mm. but you were watching porn and masturbating. Yep. And that has now affected your performance. Uh. Because now you expect your wife uh. to act out what you've been feeding yourself with all these years. Yeah. And now you are also measuring your performance by what you've been feeding yourself with mm -hmm. all these years. Uh. It's a very interesting conversation to yep. say, um, how yep. then do yep. we have a conversation about coping mechanisms before marriage because what started off what starts Ooh. off in most cases as yeah. a coping mechanism Ooh. because the truth of the matter is our emotions are not suspended until we get married no 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 yeah. no we get <laughs> elections yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm concerned you, that yeah. time you're supposed to take offering but you are here Jesus <laughs> Jesus yeah. you're, you're wearing a chino yeah. you're like ah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Read the book of the Genesis, yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> simply because we are triggered. Yeah. You understand? Our sure. emotions are not suspended, not suspended until yeah. we get married. How do we then teach young sure. men um, to stay pure? Um, and, and, and what do we say to those who have created coping mechanisms? Mm -hmm. Because they create mm -hmm. these coping mm -hmm. mechanisms mm -hmm. before getting married. Mm -hmm. um, and then they struggle to unlearn. <laughs> those coping mechanisms mm. after marriage. Mm. Mm. So much that I have heard a number of cases where a couple is married. Mm. Omjita is not that much interested in the sex. Yeah. He's busy masturbating. Yeah. That's more With, pleasurable for him and interesting than his actual wife. Yeah, the wife is in the house. <sighs> Prayerful. Sister is there anointed. Yeah. Does not see the anointing. Hey. Simply because he created he developed a coping mechanism before. <sighs> Um, it's marriage, tough, man. right? And now he's struggling to unlearn. That's tough, man. The challenge is then how do we have this conversation? Yeah. Black? Yeah. Because yeah. you got into a youth camp, Namajita, you mm. ask them about mm. porn masturbation, they don't mm. know what porn is. Mm. Oh, mm. Porn? Mm. oh, I don't know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mara, the history is deleted. Why is the yeah. history deleted? Yeah, exactly. On your phone. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check the browser yeah, history. Yeah, yeah. You know? Um, let's go to Instagram first. Yeah, let's check Explore the honey page. My guy. Yeah. Yeah. Before we go to the hardcore stuff, there's the soft porn stuff. You know? Um, let's let's go. Let's check your your ex, your Twitter. Ooh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. We, we need to have this kind of conversation. Yeah, no, definitely, man. There was a um, organization I worked with a while back. Uh, I think they were called A One, um, and they basically rescue women from um, uh, who are sex trafficked. And I think through their study and their work, they found out that I think it was probably 65% of the women who are sex trafficked go into the porn industry. So when you're watching porn and you think, you know, these people are, are all paid actors, probably 2% of them go in willingly. They're paid actors, but the, the rest are drugged up, um, you know, and they, they're there because they're slaves, you know. Mm. So you you clicking on this stuff. You're just supporting and, them. Yeah, yeah. And the thing that they do, because obviously, and I mean, you would know this, that, you know, so once you get into, you know, and because your, your brain is firing up, you mm. want harder and harder and harder and harder. And so you're creating the demand, you know, so now you want, you want, you know, tall women from East Africa. So then the traffickers mm. go look for tall women in East Africa and they, they kidnap them, right? So that they can feed your fetish and you want more, which then goes into, you know, more heinous, Mm. Uh, once so your your cravings desire more and more and more and so then you creating this demand for for human traffickers to go find the kind of client or the kind of product rather uh, that your your addictions keep on demanding you know and once you once you just see the pictures of these women who are rescued and even who tell their stories man you like I just thought it was harmless. You know, I was just clicking on this thing. Yes, it's destroying you and everything mm. that you said, but I'm like, behind the camera, the, the lives and the families and the women that are destroyed um, and, and just because you, you keep on craving. But I'm like, it's your cravings that keep creating the demand that keep, you know, an industry like the porn sure. industry still going um, and how that's obviously tied to 
to child trafficking to human trafficking you know what i mean and it's mm. it's wild man uh it is it's a wild thing uh, it's it is and and i'd be i had this crazy thought at some point yeah. i was like you know i, I would it would it would be interesting to note in churches mm. where the the wifi is open mm. like they've got this free wifi yeah. thingy yeah um can we can we then check what happens in the in the traffic at the you know yeah. on uh, the back back end of things mm-hmm. um what does the data tells us Oof. you know you'd be shocked of some of the things that people are searching sure using the wifi yeah. in the church, church. <laughs> <laughs> in the presence <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. you know especially yeah. when we've got youth gatherings and stuff yeah. like that yeah but i i think the the, the reason why some of these things yeah. um thrive like this mm. sin thrives in secrecy yep if you want it to flare up 1000 bro just keep it keep it a secret yeah and it will eat you up yeah and normally say to people i as a healthcare professional i used to be really worried about what people eat mm. i still am mm. worried about what people eat mm. but i think over and above things Lately, I've become more worried about what eats people up. Mm. You know, what, what is it that is eating you up? Mm. And th- and and that's mm. where that's where conversations and sure. unfiltered conversations come into yeah. play. Yeah. And and I appreciate the space that you have. Sure. There, you know. Yeah. Thanks, man. Because you're not you're not. Otherwise, we wouldn't make, we wouldn't be having this kind of a no. conversation. No. We'd be keeping it just spiritual. Imagine yeah. just hoeing each other with revelations. Kronos. Yeah. Yeah. We are. We are. We are. We are. We are. Revelation. John the Baptist. Yeah. John the Revelator. Yeah. We are. Revelation. Island of Patmos. Yeah. yeah. According to the, the Greek. Yes. Hey. I'm not going to in the Hebrew. Yeah, in the Hebrew, the, 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 the way Patmos. You're gone. Yeah. You're gone. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're busy just hyping you're each dying, other up with, 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 with revelations and up where we are dying. Sheesh. Right? I, I preach to, mm. I was asked to preach in, in the youth service and God gave me a sermon entitled Gifted but Lost in Sin. Mm. That we've got a lot of young people in the church mm. who are like the Portugal son mm. that are gifted but lost. Mm. See, the father gave the prodigal son gifts. Mm, mm. And then the Bible says, after some days, he took those gifts and left with yeah, them. Yeah. How many of us in the body of Christ are gifted but lost? Mm, 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 mm. And, and the fact, sometimes we think that the fact mm. that we've got a gift does not necessarily mean that we are not lost. Mm. Uh, you know, we, we, we're mm-hmm. fine. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> he had the gifts mm. from the father. Mm. He took them. He left with them. Sure. Gifted. And when you read further, you realize that he squandered all of that with prostitutions mm. and partying mm. and stuff. Mm. So not only was he lost, but he was lost in addiction. <sighs> so, uh, and, and the subtopic was that gifted by loss in, in addictions. Let's talk about addiction yeah. in the body of Christ. Yeah. Let's talk about addiction <laughs> to, yeah. especially these things about my social media and, yeah. and sex. Yeah. You know, so, yeah, man. Sure. Um, Sure. There's a lot we, we need yeah. to, to really uncover. No, definitely, man. Once you say that, you know that you're coming back probably four or five times now. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you guys love you, the coffee. Yeah. You guys have got a nice spot here. <laughs> Heater and stuff. You guys are just treating me nice. I'm like, we, we should do this often. Yeah, man. Please pull through, bro. We here? Please pull through. Come uh, over and over uh, and over and over, it, man. man. Yeah. 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 Maybe maybe in closing, let's, let's end here. Uh, I was watching a couple of uh, your interviews, mm. um, and and you spoke about I mean, not directly, but you'd mention compatibility. Mm. I have what I would probably consider controversial thoughts when it comes to compatibility. Um, and like I said, I think you didn't you didn't go into it, mm. but you'd mention it, and so I wanted to hear what your what your thoughts are. You know, sort of uh, again, I'm a young guy, want to get married. And then I'm thinking, who should I get married to? The question of compatibility always comes up. You know, will I be compatible with this person, et cetera, et cetera. And, and I'll probably put my, my stance. I don't believe in it, um, but I wanted to, to hear your thoughts. <laughs> I find it. I'm like, okay, so if you don't believe it, like we just wing it. We just, <laughs> do we just go with the flow? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, so so we don't go with the flow, but at least what I've seen people define compatibility as, 
Um, you know, so, or, or rather how it works in people's minds. If I'm going to say I'm going to marry this cup of coffee and I want to know if I'm compatible or this cup of coffee is compatible with me, the, the next question I asked is then who's the standard to determine the, the compatibility? And most of the time, it's me, you know. So is this cup of coffee compatible to me, you know? Um, and then I'm like, well, the, how can I be the standard, you know? Why can't I be judged by the same standard by the cup of, cup of coffee? Why can't the cup of coffee say, are you compatible to me? You know? You're deep. Uh, You're too deep. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, am I a coffee in this? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, so, so, so you know, use I'm your trying, wife. I'm trying to figure yeah. out, who's a coffee? Am I a coffee? Yeah, yeah, am I being yeah. drank? So <laughs> the, the, co the coffee's your wife, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, my wife yeah. is a coffee, right? Yeah. yeah. Creamy coffee. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> my, mine is dark yeah. coffee. <laughs> You know, I love it, yeah. so so I'm like the standard normally becomes the person who's asking the question of compatibility, you know, um, and then I'm like I, I'm gonna change, you know. I got married when I was 25, turning 25, 36 this year, turning 36. The 25 year old black is not the same, you know. Yes, and, that's true. And so I'm like, if I'm the standard. You know, is my wife constantly having to keep up with me as the standard, you know? Um, and, then, and then compatibility language. So that's the first thing, standard. How do we determine who's compatible? Then compatibility language for me makes me think of products, you know? So if you're going to go buy a car, you want to know if, one, your pockets are compatible, that you yes. can afford that product. Uh, is it compatible to your lifestyle? Because, again, you're the standard. You're buying the product, you know? Um, Will I be able to maintain this car, et cetera, et cetera? And once your pockets grow a little bit... Then the taste changes. Taste changes. Your lifestyle changes. So now you have, you have a daughter now. Then two, three years from now, you have two sons, another daughter, four kids. So you have to get an SUV. You have to get a bigger car now, right? Um, and so then I'm like, when, if I have to think about me as the standard then, if my tastes change and you're no longer compatible with me, do I go find another product? <laughs> do I, you know? Now, now, so, now I understand the coffee thing. So do I yeah. go find a cappuccino now? Hey, uh, okay. hey. No. <laughs> so, so, so I understand where you're coming from with that. Sure, um, sure. To me, the, the question of compatibility is, uh, first of all, the Bible says two cannot work together unless they agree. Yes. Um, yeah. and, and I mean, that's just not, that's, yeah. that's the... We agree because we, we've got common grounds. Hundreds. Right? Hundreds. So, and on, on the question of compatibility, according to me, it's a mm. question of you guys being on common grounds as far as principles mm. and mm. values are concerned. Yep. Yep. Right? Uh, I often give this example to say, my, so we've, I, I'm a father. Yeah. We've got a, two and a half year old yeah. baby girl. Um, my wife and I can disagree on um, how we execute some of the principles. For mm. instance, we believe mm. that we believe in a principle that says you spo you, 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 you spare the rod, you spoil the child. Yeah. So we need to spank the little one with Tabi right. Mm. That's what mm. we agree on. Yes. Right? Yeah. Just wanna create that foundation, mm. right? However, we might disagree on how how what does not sparing the rod looks like sure sure to me it might be i will spank you my wife or my wife might be i'll spank you mm -hmm. and that is to her that is her vision of not sparing the, the rod. rod yeah me sure. I'll, I'll yeah. <laughs> 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 and that is my version of sure. and we might disagree on that yes but we do agree on the we need to the principle of yeah. we need to discipline this one Sure. So compatibility to me then, sure. because you you raised the, the analogy of a car. Mm. Um, your taste in a car might differ mm. uh, based on your preferences and your financial muscles sure. and all of that. Sure. But your need for transportation is the same. Come on now. Sure. So, sure. So there are fundamentals mm. that we need to look into mm. when we talk about mm. compatibility. Sure. And I, I think the the first one is the question of Christ. Come on, bro. Right? Yep. 
it doesn't matter if in five years time I'm going to be a different person in terms of my taste in life and mm. some of the preferences and whatever. Mm. But if Christ is the center mm. of my life and, and that's the standard. Sure. That is, com- that, that is, you want to talk about compatibility? Mm. Let's talk about the fact that Christ is our, our solid ground. Sure. That, that's where compatibility, great, compatibility comes in. Yeah. yeah right? Yeah. Because sometimes I think the reason why I would think Mm. You know, people frown upon the concept of incompatibility. It's because we've got this very distorted idea of it. Mm. We're saying, mm. like, mm. you know, he must be tall, dank, and handsome. Yeah. He must wear yeah. your That's shoes. That's why I push I like back. Your shoes. He must wear your <laughs> shoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I push back against it, yeah. precisely because of yeah. that. Yeah, tall, dark, and handsome, yeah. and he must yeah. have a, like a flat tongue. Yeah, sure. But life happens after getting married. You yeah. I miss my days when I used yeah. to have a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> I never had it, you, but I <laughs> you, you still have it. It's just, it's just it's, covered. It's, it's covered, covered by one pack. <laughs> one pack, right? <laughs> you know, all yeah. the love and the warmth yeah, of my yeah, wife. Yeah. You understand? So imagine if my wife then her level, the standard was yeah. a a flat tummy. Sure, she would be looking else somewhere else now. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so if you ask me what my stance is, I would say you really have to find you things that very core values and mm. principles that mm. are that 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 transcends seasons Hundreds. 1000 right yeah. uh, so if you are a single person and you're looking for a partner mm. there really has to be things that really transcends mm. seasons mm. i really believe that there is no way and i might be fetched for this mm. and put you into <laughs> trouble there's no way a, a mm. christian sister who was born again yeah. speaking in tongues full of the spirit yeah can actually really get married to a man who's not born again, who does not fear God, and yoked. make it work. Yeah. yeah, you guys are not equally yoked. Huh? You cannot, you cannot have a. I, I will convert him. Mm. You are not Christ. Huh? Yeah. You understand? Um, I say it's. I normally say it's good mm. and beautiful mm. to have a good partner, mm. but it's much more beautiful mm. to have a godly partner. Come on, right? So those are some of the things. Come Sometimes on. you look at people who are good, mm. but are not godly. Sure. And we're thinking that their goodness is going to save us and going to sustain the marriage. Mm. But it doesn't. Mm. Godliness sustains mm. relationships. Mm. It sustains marriage. Come on. Man. Right. So that's, that's my stance. Um, don't be superficial about it. Yes. You know, this whole fallacy yes. of sometimes people think yes. compatibility is gifts. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm a my keys. Bro. I'm a smiru sister who... Oh, yeah. Vukai, you know, because yeah. I love Vuk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, me na mang la. Yeah, yeah. Ena abe, you know, atul. That's not compatibility. No, no, no. Hundreds. You guys are complimenting each other. Yes, You might yes. complement each other. Yes. But you know, yes. it's, it's not compatibility. Hundreds. Right. Uh, because then, what happens if I don't? If I lose my sure. whatever will to to sing? Yeah. Does that mean then yeah. I'm no longer your yeah your woman? Yeah. I'll have yeah. to go get another product. Yeah. Because yeah. they're not going to sing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're going to be idols. Yeah. I'm going to be a scout. I'm going to be a concert. I'm going to be a youth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one who sings man. better. Sure. But, uh, so, have things that um, really are solid. Yeah. Christ is yeah. this person that does this person fear God? Mm. Does this person love God? Mm. Um, are they kind? Hmm. Huh. Um, you mm. know, are they empathetic? Mm. You know, such things. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's where compatibility comes in. And of course, sometimes we also actually step further. I was on um, Power FM, I think, last week. Yeah. Last week. Yeah. Um, I was talking about financial compatibility. Yeah. It yeah. is an interesting yeah. one. Sure. Um, Opabi says, well, how about dating outside your financial leaking? Hey. Too? <laughs> and the producer <laughs> told me the topic. I was like, "Hey, this is spicy, but <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> You know, yeah. we're talking about financial compatibility. Sure. Um, basically, that's a conversation about are, are we sure that you know what are the spending habits and stuff like mm. that. But I think when it really comes to either by shot or marriage, let's look at um, you know. Um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, aspects that transcends. Sure. Let's look at values. Values that man. really transcends. Yeah. Um, um, seasons. Yeah. Um, and not and not be superficial about it. This yep. tall, black, and handsome. Mm. I'm not taking. I mean, mm. you're mm. you're tall. Koika is is People don't see your shoes. Right? You saw me yeah. your shoes. 
Oh, man. Oh, we Lord. should book you, man. Oh, yeah, Lord. stylish. <laughs> Thanks, bro. No, I appreciate it, man. Um, and, and, and I would say that's that's exactly the thing we push here, man. You know, find somebody that you share the same worldview with. Yes. That's compatibility because that's the standard. Yes. I'm not the standard. But like you said, Christ is the standard. Christ is. He's not going to change. I'm going to change. Yes. My wife is going to change. But he remains the same. And if we meet each other there, sure, we're compatible. That's true. Um, outside of that, I think, yeah, we, we're just playing games, man. That's true. Uh, just the last one. I often yeah. said, I always say actually to people that um, it's important. One of the benefits of getting a godly person, mm. a godly partner, is that then the word of God becomes your common grounds. Yep. Um, <laughs> you know, biblical principles yep. become your common grounds. Yep. If when my wife and I don't see eye to eye, mm. There is a point of reference, mm. you know. Mm. Um, the joking part of me wants to say, then we go back to the Bible and say, what does the Bible say about women on top? Yeah, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> now they're going to fetch you. Now they're going to fetch you. <laughs> you guys are going to cut this part yeah. off, right? Just cut this part off, man. <laughs> now you're going to get fetched. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay. I should have not said that part. Yeah. But, but anyway, the, 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 the Bible becomes then the common ground. Yes. You know, yes. It becomes a common voice. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, that's great, bro. Man, appreciate it, brother. This has been great. I got more than I anticipated. Um, yeah. Great conversations. If you don't know this, you my you my friend now. I <laughs> Thank you. We out here mind. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, out here. Yeah. So so for the phone in Jalo out here. No, but I mean I really yeah. appreciate yeah. this man. Um uh, it's good to um, mm. you know be connected to brothers of yeah. your of kind. Yeah. The Bible says in the multitude of counselors sure. there is safety. Um, sure. you know, you've been married for 10 years now? Yeah. yeah. I mean, look. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whenever I've got problems, I'm going to get to the Khrutman. 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 You guys have been through that. So, sure, you know, you're sure. able to advise. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nah. We, we, we Khrutman love you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you. for having and me. And yeah, and thank, thanks to your wife for allowing you to come here share you and your your story together you know you're not married alone <laughs> you married Th- to thanks her. for appreciating so, that you know thank you bro. yeah thank, thank her you for appreciating yeah. that because some people like you know people don't know that i mean when we do these things and mm. attend events and be yeah. on tv on show and radio and stuff like yeah. that that is sometimes taking from my wife's time yeah. you know family time yeah. sometimes i do radio in in the ams five sure. o'clock two o'clock in the morning sometimes sure. i have to drive to certain yeah. shows and stuff and yeah. that really, then it means that's me mm. away from my wife, away from my daughter, away sure. from my family. So yeah. thank you for appreciating the fact that you mm. know, there's, mm. there's a whole family behind yeah. this. Yeah, no, there is, bro. Yeah, Appreciate yeah, yeah. that. Man. Yeah, yeah. No, thank you, bro. Thank you. Appreciate it. Guys, that was uh, super dope. Uh, you definitely found much value. I did. I did. You know, a lot of stuff that came out of this conversation. Um, so pray again. You encouraged uh, you just motivated, you inspired to continue becoming better husbands by knowing better and that, you know, you found a lot of things from this episode that really inform uh, your knowledge. But not only that, you know, once this knowledge hits your heart, that you go live it out and actually become the kind of husbands that would end up in this book um, and the kind of husbands that fail forward, take accountability uh, and, and really don't take the responsibility of this calling over your life very lightly, but you, you take it head on, right? Um, and not like a superhero because we're not. And that's why we're here as brothers, you know. So, yeah, we'll definitely uh, keep engaging. Leave your comments. Let's hear what you think about anything that we shared. Um, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Hit the notification bell that you know that in every single episode that we're dropping on Wednesday at half past 11. Um, but yeah, continue buying us coffee. Um, and yeah, this was dope, man. I am I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, and we'll see you on the flip side. I, that has been podcast with me, Black Newborn. Peace. I'll say this, and your girl is here. Mm. She's going to be shocked. At who I am. No, at the whole thing. What do you mean? 
You what? got you got your your lives are gonna be different. Sure. Right? Mm. So now are ah, you big? Mm. You know? Nah. Put my nah, like yeah. <laughs> there's, there's an invisible line that you jump to. So yeah. So yeah. on that point, Black. Yeah. Um what is that? Um what is and I'm gonna ask I'm asking this even from um